okay so on surface unit when uh, whenever i was saying like compression and production so production will have some pumping systems also and that pumping will be fixed during completion uh, drilling stage during surface production operation also some pumping or compressors may be required so i'll explain a little bit so pump why pump is required so when you are drilling you need to pump drilling mud to the well bore so that means we need one pump so that pump can be centrifugal type or reciprocating type or maybe other type and other pump is required for artificial lifting system maybe you need some surface pump or during separation stage also you need certain um, certain pumps uh, for example uh, your pressure is very low you want to increase the pressure and you want to send to some pipeline or some stock uh, so somewhere else so in that case a pump can help and where the compressor is being used compressor is being used when you are injecting gas into well bore for gas lifting operations so you need compressors or you got natural gas and you want to make lng so in that case again you need to compress it and you have to uh, use one compressors so what are the different options for pump and compression this uh, normally this will be turbo machines or positive displacement pump okay there will be two, basically two times uh, two types this will be positive displacement positive displacement type or uh, or uh, rotary type rotary kinetic kinetic tic a uh, rotary positive displacement type or rotary kinetic type uh, that positive displacement type pump uh, i think you all your familiar that sucker rod pump already uh, is in the oil industry or one pump which works for 70 years 80 years 90 years sometime it is 100 years god made uh, pump that is called human heart this is also positive displacement it is taking certain amount of fluid pumping take fluid pumping same amount of fluid there is no leakage if the leakage is there definitely you have to con uh, consult chennai uh, heart center uh, and if it is working well then you are alive if you are not working then gun but our mechanical pump it does not work for 100 years but it works definitely several years for example the refriger uh, we have refrigerators and other those pumps normally uh, will be working for several years 10 15 years i have seen okay and positive displacement pumps are used to create very high pressure very high pressure very high pressure you are producing is a progressive gravity pump uh, positive displacement pump positive progressive gravity pump sucker rod pump screw pump those are type of positive displacement pump so positive displacement pump can generate very high pressure but flow rate will be lower very high pressure and low flow rate okay but if you see kinetic or centrifugal pump normally very common type of pump in use for every household application your lawn application many uh, industrial applications are there uh, other than day to day services so this is actually um, having high flow rate higher high flow rate and low pressure relative to positive displacement pump and one positive displacement another example is the injection syringe actually certain amount of fluid you are taking you are injecting for uh, everyone is familiar with this covid vaccine right a small amount of fluid is taken and pushed there is also one positive displacement type pump actually they pumped into your body and one human heart also one pump uh, similarly you are using for lawns and your household application over a tank is there you are pumping so several applications are there the same pump is being for used for your oil and gas industry application artificial lifting application so i will explain later and another type uh, pump i told rotary pump rotary pump centrifugal type pump this is uh, delivering very high pressure fluid high volume fluid but low pressure relatively lower pressure you can create higher pressure also if you are creating multiple stages so i'll be teaching that one during artificial lift centrifugal pump esp systems so there i'll be describing more on centrifugal pump and what about compressors so pump the term used for liquid pumping normally okay pumping anything possible but normally uh, we use the term for liquid handling but when you are talking about compressors compression compression term is there so if uh, there is any compression happening normally gas will have compression so the term is used for 
compressor when you are using normally gas okay and what are the different compressors available same positive dispersion pump so rotary pump is there and compressors where do you use gas lift application we are using we are using lng liquid uh, let's say you got low pressure gas and you want to make lng high pressure gas so your inden it is actually liquid lpg right so that gas is compressed somewhere okay so that uh, what are the different compressors compressor positive displacement rotary displacement uh, rotary type and when you are compressing gas there are issues uh, there like when you are compressing temperature will go up because pv equals nrt for same mole if you are compressing the temperature will go up if p is going up t must be going up for same volume right because nr we are not changing uh, so in that case the compression system must have some cooling arrangement so that system will not fail but in liquid case that compression is very low compressivity factor is very low so because of this low compressibility in liquid so you do not you may not need the cooling arrangement for when you are compressing but gas you need cooling arrangement so for example if you if you may have seen the cycle pumper like in the shops will have one big cylinder cylinder will have some electric motor type thing so there will be you, you can see there's lots of fins will be there that will, that is used for cooling purpose normally they will have positive displacement pump they will be pumping uh, air into that cylinder from cylinder they will be giving on pipe to your cycle tube and your tube will be pumped or maybe truck or tr all truck or car or buses will be pumping like that but uh, if you are using manually like a cycle pumper and roadside uh, you have lots of cycle shops in india if you go there one cycle pumper is manually you do so in manually uh, th that one uh, is a positive displacement pump okay because reciprocating pump reciprocating continuously you are pumping uh, so they call positive displacement once you pump you touch the bottom part of the pumper it will be very hot why because this your formula pv equals nrt you increase pressure so because of pressure t increased yeah, again pressure increase volume reduced but still t increase very high so that's why temperature will be higher immediately if you touch the hand will get burned actually okay it is so high temperature will be there yeah so whenever you are talking about oil and gas industry uh, upstream so you will have well bore right then you will have one tubing so well bore i told already there will be one casing casing is one pipe metal pipe and metal pipe what is the material material can be iron based material okay and whenever you are using iron based material you have to check whether well bore fluid is having sand corrosive fluid carbon dioxide or h2s if it is having then you have to change material maybe non -met non metal you have to use then you have to cement it properly on cemented done then you are putting tubing okay tubing tubing means it will be giving for production right so fluid will come like this and it is maybe well head is here then you are getting production choke and surface facilities so these all these things are pipes so pipes how to design pipe whether you'll be selecting one inch pipe or 10 inch pipe what is the criteria right so if you are selecting very narrow pipe as a straw for your um, juice or like maza mango you are drinking you have st small straw thin straw can you use that straw for oil industry for production you say no why it's possible but issue is that it will be giving high friction how friction will be working uh, del p small if i write so del p means pressure drop through the pipe f means friction factor the f is friction factor C T O R and L is length of the pipe. Okay, if your pipe is like this, so L is length, length, and V is the velocity of the fluid. And G acceleration due to gravity. You know already nine point eight one is uh, SI unit meter. Per second square, second s power two, and if you are using SI unit, I think thirty two will be per um, second square uh, uh, feet per second square. Then uh, D is the diameter of pipe. 
So instead of three inch pipe, if I can, if I put one straw, the juice drinking straw, what will happen? In that case, there is a friction factor fixed, you do not know now. L, if very long pipe, then pressure drop, pressure drop means you, you are trying to pull, okay. So that force, you have to be very high force, if a very long pipe, okay. That means there is some pressure drop is happening. That is why you, you are giving, giving so much energy to suck your uh, maza mango drink or whatever drink you are drinking, right. And the pipe is very narrow, again you have to put more energy. Okay, and diameter, pipe diameter very narrow, what will happen? Again, the pressure drop will be high. So, if velocity, fluid velocity very high, you are trying to a small drop you are taking, then your energy will be lower, but you are taking very large amount, sucking, then in that case, you have to, your uh, cheek will be like this, because you are giving more force, that means pressure drop is high. Okay. So, Pressure drop will be high if pipe length is very long, fluid velocity you are taking more fluid quickly. So, that time you are sucking more, more energy you are giving that means your pipe velocity high, more energy drop or pressure drop, diameter very narrow, very narrow diameter that means your energy requirement also will be high. Larger pipe you take or small pipe you take, small pipe you have to put more energy. Okay. So, similarly your oil industry pipe you have a very narrow tube. So, if for same fluid velocity, narrowing down tube will take more energy. So, that means if reservoir pressure is 1000 bar, so that may not be sufficient to lift the fluid to the surface. Okay. And uh, uh, similarly, if your fluid velocity very high, again same problem will occur, your frictional pressure drop will be very high. And length, if piping length is very long, let us say 10,000 feet or 5,000 feet, so 10,000 feet longer means friction will be very high, so pressure drop will be very high. Okay. And what is F? F is friction factor. So, all the surfaces will have some roughness. So, if you see any surface, let us say on your desk or book, anything, it will look like a smooth plane, right? But if you take one microscope, it will look like lots of ridges and valleys will be there, okay? From distance you are seeing, there will be no ridges, valleys. But if you get go closer, you put one microscope, you see you, lots of ridges and valleys will be there. When lots of ridges and valleys are there, what happens? Uh, this energy, uh, the fluid particle will not be moving smoothly. For example, your road is very rough, Panchayat has not constructed road properly and you are driving your bike. So, your bike will be slowed down actually. Same, uh, same uh, like say, you are trying to maintain speed, then you have to use more diesel or whatever petrol, normally bike petrol will be there. So, more petrol will be burning. So, your energy consumption will be more, that means it is resisting, it is not allowing to move for, for, forward faster, it is energy, consuming energy. So, if you have rough surface of pipe, pipe is in, internal flow is there and pipe is having very roughness, roughness is very high. So, in that case friction will be high because the pipe is not allowing fluid to move quickly. So, F it denotes the roughness. So, if roughness is high, pipe will give very much resistance. So, your frictional pressure drop will be high and you need more energy or for same uh, reservoir pressure fluid may not be lifted to the surface or well head pressure requirement is let us say 100 bar and your reservoir pressure maintaining 200 bar. So, 100 bar pressure is lost in between uh, your pipe and reservoir in the like well head and reservoir. So, in that case maybe well head will not get sufficient pressure. Okay. So, you have to change tubing di diameter or you have to change well, well, uh, well head or surface conditions. If you are not con changing surface condition, then maybe your separator system will not work because every separator system is there, um, there is a limit of pressure, flow rate, temperature. If you are changing anything, then the separator will not work. So, when separator is not working, then whole system will fail. Then you have to maintain all the pressure, temperature and flow rate properly so that whole system will be working synchronously. Okay. So, you have to understand the frictional pressure drop, how much pressure drop you are having when you are installing one tubing in the well bore. Okay. And if you are having artificial lift also, again same theory, how much frictional pressure drop is having because of artificial lift insertion in the well bore. Next thing is that very narrow tube is very bad I told. 
बट एज ए इंजीनियर यू थॉट लाइस सर समाज सर टोल्ड इट्स वेरी नैरो ट्यूब दैन लेट्स मेक अ वेरी वाइड ट्यूब सो इंस्ट ऑफ हाफ इंच और टू इंच आई मेक फाइव इंच ट्यूबिंग सो वॉट विल हैपन सो दैन दर इज नो फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर दैन माई सिस्टम विल बी एफिशियंट देर इज ऑल्सो वन प्रॉब्लम 